Buenas tardes de nuevo. Good afternoon. After the presentation of Stefano Dominioni, director of the European Institute of Cultural Roots of the Council of Europe, and as we um, said before in his presentation, we are going to have a uh, presentation of Quintin Correa. He is a director and manager of uh, um, Charles V European Route, a route that was certified uh, very recently in 2005 as a European route by the Council of Europe, and he's going to explain today how the route works, what were the criteria that they had to fulfill, and what were the type of activities that uh, made it deserving of this uh, certification. Without further ado, um, we're going to have his presentation. He's going to have a, a video support, probably. So the floor is yours, Quintin Correas. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miguel. Good afternoon to you all. And as Miguel Ángel has said in the previous intervention uh, uh, by Stefano, I'm going to make a brief presentation of the functioning of a European cultural route, particularly the one of the Emperor Charles V. So you will have an idea of the working in the field of these cultural roots of the Council of Europe. The cooperation network was uh, constituted, uh, related to Charles V, was constituted in 2007. So we've been functioning for a number of years. The goal was to defend and promote the touristic, uh, historical, cultural, and economic resources of the different territories through which the uh, Charles V route went through. We agglutinate more than 60 cities and sites in the itinerary of Charles V since 1517 till 1557. Since 2007, our cooperation network is developing a great work in a vast cultural and touristic pro program around Charles V. And there are joint international projects based on the era of Charles V, cooperation at long term between uh, places where Charles V is related in order to offer uh, cultural and uh, touristic activities. For example, the uh, touristic label, uh, gastronomy, uh, cultural activities, etc. One of the main facts of the cooperation network was the presentation in the Institute of Cultural Roots, European Cultural Roots, the project to declare the cooperation network as a, a European cultural route. It was submitted in September 2013, and two years later, it was given this label to the route. Now, we are part of the 32 European cultural roots of the Council of Europe. In this presentation, I have divided in thematic of the different roots. There are two religious ones of historical figure, figures like where uh, Charles V fits, architecture, um, heritage, etc. So the themes of these cultural roots is quite uh, diverse. The first route, uh, as the director of the institute mentioned, is the uh, route of Saint-Jacques since 1987, and the last one that has been certified in 2016 has been the route of uh, uh, fortress cities. These itineraries have to be evaluated every three years. You have to go through the evaluation process, and as you see, all these routes have to pass these um, tests. Our cooperation network is made up of 65 members, uh, full members. We have eight co co cooperating uh, partners and nine countries, Spain, Italy, Belgium, Germany, uh, the Netherlands, Portugal, Tunisia, Algeria, Argy Algeria, and Morocco. 
it's important to see that the local institutions, the um, municipalities, are actively participating since the beginning in the establishment and the consolidation of this route. This participation from the population, from the uh, community, uh, bottom up, uh, of the itinerary and the route, um, so that uh, participation of the uh, people and the municipalities uh, is guaranteed, is one of the aspects that, that gives more strength to the project. It is hardly visible, but this is the list of the different cities, institutions, and uh, um, collectives that particip participate from uh, Algeria to Belgium, Brussels, Ghent, in Germany, in the Netherlands, in Spain, etc. In Spain, for example, uh, municipalities such as uh, Toledo, Valladolid, we have autonomous governments like the government of Extremadura, the one of Aragon, uh, local governments like uh, uh, Cáceres in Italy, for, for instance, apart from municipalities like San Severo, Lesina, Nicosia. We also have as a partner the Sicily uh, uh, Regional um, uh, Association, the foundation of Frederick II, uh, and uh, a foundation like the one of Euste, etc. So the, the membership and the participation of society in this uh, European cultural route is quite important and is uh, being widened so that the cooperation network is open to the presence of new partners, of course, uh, linked to the figure of Charles V. These are the different routes that uh, the original moment was presented, maritime routes, and that is why the cities of uh, Tangiers, Oran, and, Tuni and, and Tunis were joined. Flesinga to Tathones, the Italian roots. We also have the roots of the, the Netherlands and the Flemish one, and those of the Euro European capitals, the German route and the Habsburg uh, route, the Italian roots, the Sicily and Naples kingdoms, with a very active participation in the project of the European cultural route, and also the ones of the Italian wars. And then in the uh, Iberian Peninsula, which is the one that is better defined because the project of the Charles V cultural route was born here in Spain. The first route of Charles V from Tazones, Villaviciosa to Tordesillas in Valladolid. Next year, the fifth, the fifth centenary will take place and there are already activities organized for 2017, the last route from Laredo to the area of La Vera, where we are now, the route of Isabella of Portugal, the Catalan route, Palamos Molins de Rey. So there are already some mm, routes which are defined, and a development of them has been presented to the Council of Europe. Obviously, we are open to define new routes and new actions linked to the territories of Charles V, so that the different maps of the routes that we have mentioned will uh, little by little be enlarged, uh, both in number and in uh, contents. Another important thing of the cultural routes is constitution of scientific committees. It was mentioned by the director of the institute. Scientific committees of the itineraries are quite important. In our case, there has been a restructuration of this scientific committee. Nowadays, there is a, an honorary council with relevant people of the evaluation of Charles V. There's another committee of ex experts, which is also is structured in four thematic groups. One on research with uh, scholars of historical investigation or research of um, Charles V, museums, is another committee, museums related to the figure of Charles V, another group of headed cultural uh, management, events that recreate uh, historical things, dance, cultural activities uh, related to Charles V and its era, and his era, and another on sustainable routes 
which have to do with different groups related to Charles V. This is the scientific committee, the honorary, honorary council, and the committee of experts, where we can see different scholars from Germany, Belgium, Spain, Italy, and Portugal. This is a bit the definition in thematic areas that was approved as to the scientific committee, research, heritage and museums, cultural management and tourism, and the area of Europe and Mediterranean, and the American route as well, where we will be working in the next months. There is also a work that we are carrying out, which is the creation of a series of working networks divided by territories from Europe, Latin America, and the Mediterranean. And these networks are articulated along three main axes. The first, universities, Charles V universities, those that were founded by the emperor, which had privileges under his um, kingdom. Carolus Quintu, uh, uh, the Carolus Quintu uh, of uh, schools, young uh, researchers, uh, PhD or masters, with thematic on Charles V. Scientific committees starting to work on this uh, Charles V networks. This is the organigram I mentioned, with that unit of coordination of the scientific committee honorary experts, and then the bread of young uh, uh, scholars, Carolus Quinto in primary and secondary schools, and universities uh, related to Charles V. Another aspect, uh, which is an axis, or the criteria, rather, is the that uh, um, appreciated by the Institute is the activities that the different routes develop through the year. I want to mention the main activities related to the historical recreations, both national and international, so that you can see the participation of the local population and the society of the territories in the cultural routes. As uh, an example, and these are not all, these are some of the most uh, uh, remarkable ones. The Charles V of Medina de Pomar in Burgos, the Emperor route in La Vera, the disembarkment of uh, Charles V in Laredo, the uh, performance of the meeting between Charles V and his brother uh, Fernando in Mojados, the, disembark the arrival in Tazones, and the arrival of King Queen uh, Juana to Torresilla. Some of the performances that you can see here internationally. There are important uh, events um, like the parades in San Severo in Italy. Pistioneri in Cavadineri in, in Italy, Megan in Brussels, the arrival of Charles V and the presentation of his son Philip II to the Flemish um, nobility, Messina, Ghent, uh, Brussels, in the Car Carolus V uh, festival, like the Megan. So there is a wide range of uh, performances related to Charles V, not only in Spain, but also in Europe and in a very significant manner. And this is the important aspect. I don't know whether you see it well. And it is what I wish to mention, which is precisely the participation of population in all these uh, activities. You can see this on this uh, chart with the different performances. The number of participants. When we talk of participants, we, I mean direct actors, some 10,000. But the number of minor or under 18 years, where we see the participation of population, and particularly the youngsters, only in these representations or these performances I mentioned, more than 2,000 people participated. Uh, the audience uh, is beyond. 173,000, so the people involved in these uh, performances are beyond 182,000. These are only the main ones, there are all, many others. In order to finish now, another of the main points that should be remarked here in the itinerary of Charles V is the Touristic Product Club. What we want to do is to engage the private sector within the itinerary 
of Charles V. What we intend to do is to give visibilization to touristy products that are all along the route of Charles V and incorporate in this European route the fabric of, of all society that are everywhere. We have created four labels of quality uh, for hotels, for restaurants, for um, food, products, and others. We define here what is a product club, and then the way that it works so that you see what is the implication of the private sector and um, entrepreneur um, companies as well. It works, as you can see in the image, there is a management commission that tries to um, manage everything that is representative of the municipality, of the tourist sector, and any other sector that might be interested and decides that it's important uh, to this route. In each of the four labels, we need to take into account that there is a specialized sector that needs to be involved. This is the logo and this is the plaque that is going to be granted. One of the pilot projects where it's going to start um, having this label is this uh, this place of La Vera, which is this region. It will be given to 12 restaurants. Here you can see the label that uh, products are going to be having. I, uh, to finish, I'd like to say that all the work that we're carrying out, which is focused on the sector and on the company sector, it comes hand in hand with uh, marketing products. They have to do with uh, touristy guides and touristy products that are being commercialized, not only in Spain, but also at international level. This is an example of the agreement with Fitur. In Spain, which is an agreement that was signed with the Ministry of uh, Industry in Spain, and together with other three or four routes, we created a product that is linked to the cultural heritage, archaeological heritage, cultural, ethnographical heritage. Within these routes, we have defined uh, where they're located in Spain, and at present, we're going to the World Travel Fair in London, in Berlin, so we can um, give more of a of a touristy feel to all the people who want to uh, come and visit. Here are the different routes that we are promoting at present. The Ministry of Industry and Tourism, um, they realized that we cover with our four routes the whole uh, history uh, from the um, prehistory uh, to the Renaissance of Charles V and the Baroque. And all of this is being done through a specific website, which is Spain Info, where you can see everything about the route. And we are promoting also through tour operators our route. We're having a big involvement in social network in uh, Charles V 2.0, which has an Android version. And so this is a very quick sweep across the story of the route of Charles V so that you could see how it works and how do we um, do uh, the inside work of the European route of Charles V. Thank you very much, Quintin has been very intense, very fast, but I think it gives you the general picture of the work that is behind the work of um, the European culture route and what it means to have a certificate by the Council of Europe. They have been working on this since the year 2002. In 2007, it was legally uh, constituted as an organization, but we started working in 2002, so we've worked for a long, long time. It's not something that you overnight 
but finally it is bearing its fruit and the certification by the Council of Europe is very satisfying. We are finishing this um, short introduction of the afternoon session and we will be back shortly with what we left uh, pending this morning. Thank you.